what is up? What's going on? They ain't seen you in a minute. So you over at the Canes now. Tell us how this transition happened. Where was you at before then? Well, I'm not seeing you for a minute. Well, last year, I came back and I uh, went over there and worked with Griffin and Spartan. Okay. Coach Kevin Griffin. Okay. They treated me like family. Okay. So Griffin them ain't nothing but class personified. Right. And, uh, but you know, I'm a pop wanted to do. Yeah. So I wanted to come back and uh, help Southeast Michigan get back on the map. So, you know, in 2012, a lot of teams left. Right. Now we got eight teams back now. The kids deserve to get some decent coaching, so that's why I did move to the hurt You know, it's just when I think of coach, oh, I'm like, I've always, when looking at Pop Warner, because, you know, my family started out with, with Pop Warner. I mean, you coached a, a couple of them as well. So I've always looked at, okay, it was the Hurricanes, and then it was Coach O's team. It was the Hurricanes, and it was Coach O's team. So with just building this relationship with the Hurricanes, and you actually being over there and being a part of it, I mean, I can expect some big things from Pop Warner. That for sure. But how did that even come about? Because it, it, it came down to what is about the league. So it's putting the league first. Right. And Hurricanes is one of the um, last of the Detroit teams. Yes. We have eight teams, but they're surrounding Detroit. You know? And so I went to the Detroit team. You know what I'm saying? And they got a great organization over there. Yeah, long standing you know? history. And we starting off with basics. Okay. Teaching yeah. fundamental football. We're going to block and tackle very well. We're going to do the little things very well. And that's what it's all about. For me. Yeah. So. I understand. So tell me what some of the things that we're going to expect from you this year. Like, what team are you coaching? Um, tell us about some of your players, your boys, their characteristics. What is that like for you? Well, we're going to be we're going to be very fast, okay. fundamentally sound, disciplined. And that's, and that's the bottom line for me. After that, through hard work, we're going to see. Okay, and which team are you coaching? The, the varsity. That's the biggest kid. Okay. Yeah. And how's that been so far? Because I know your boys, I got a chance to meet with some of them. It seems like they're very well disciplined. It seems like they're eager, they're hungry, they're ready to get out there. So just tell me a little bit about that. Like the team, the, the boys that you have, like I'm sure they all came from the area. You're grooming them well. What are some of the things that we can expect from the Hurricanes organization? Well, we're going to be very fast, like I said. Yeah. And uh, we're going to take teaching them to live in the moment, one day at a time, you know, I don't want to predict nothing, only thing I want to do is enjoy this moment, and if we can work hard, if I can leave practice saying, well, we had a good day, that's what it's all about for me. And who is part of your staff, because we're going to get a chance to actually, you know, uh, interact with the boys as well as your coaching staff, so who's a part of that staff? Well, I have Eric Coke, Eric Kirk, he's been coaching for 20 plus years. Okay. He's going to be my defensive coordinator and O-line coach. Okay. Uh, Gary Wiley, he, he actually raised the core of these kids we got now since they was, they've been together since they were seven years old. Okay. So we have a good foundation. Okay, so you got and, something that came up together. Yeah, and okay. um, I got one, I'm excited about some of my young coaches. Paris Powell, one of the greatest youth uh, football players in Michigan, came out of Detroit. Okay. You know, so we grooming the, the young coaches, you know, they, they position coaches okay. now, and we're going to go from there. And you know, and that's what I always appreciated about you. It's not always just been about uh, the, the the recognition. Um, you have just a long-standing history with these boys. I mean, you do mentoring with them. Uh, you're into community involvement. Not only that, you want to see the entire organization, whatever organization that is that you're a part of, you want to see them be successful. So I really, I can say that I appreciate you and the things that you've done with the community, with the youth. Not only that, even with your coaching staff, you know, mentoring them. It's a, and that's what it's about. It's about growth, being able to not just say, hey, I am successful. Successful, but I'm building success as well. So I can really appreciate it, appreciate that about you. Also, you talked about being interviewed by ESPN. Yeah. So you know now you a, you a star, young. <laughs> you know, tell me how that came well, about. Well, in um, 2010, we uh, competed in the national championship at Disney World. Right. What? Where are we trying to get back to? Okay. Because it ain't easy. Okay, and that's what I was waiting to hear you say. We right. trying to get there. Oh yeah, okay. that's the bottom line. It's Super Bowl or bust. Right. But. Right now, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I want to teach them. Exactly. It's about today. You know what I'm saying? I want to see the enthusiasm. I want to be. I want to um, be excited about today. Yeah. Long as we can take advantage of the day, tomorrow might be all right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not promised to us. Exactly. But I want to have a lot of enthusiasm about today. I think that's the main word in the um, English um, vocabulary: enthusiasm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if we can do that, we probably can win some football games. Yeah. You know
You know what I'm saying? And you know what? I, I again, I appreciate you. I appreciate you taking the time out to talk to City Ballers. You got any final uh, things you want to say before we close out? Any final thoughts? Well, you know what? I appreciate catching up with you and Ryan. Y'all is family. You know what I'm saying? We want to put the Detroit Hurricanes back on the map. We're on the east side. You know, I'm Shainer and, and, um, and um, Stay Fair. And What's your practice days and your times and stuff? And when is well, you all's like first game? Well, our, our official practice is August 1st. Okay. Tuesday through um, Friday from 8 to 6. We Right now we're doing flag at 7 on 7 from Mon Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 6 to 8. Okay. So, so when is your first, you said your first official game is going to be August. September. Okay, so this is your girl Al with cityballers.com with Coach O. And if it ain't on City Ballers, it ain't here. That's right. Okay, this is City Ballers coming back to you. We have the Hurricane staff as well as some of the varsity players here. They're just going to tell us a bit about themselves, their expectations for the year, what some of their hopes and their dreams are. So with that being said, take it away, fellas, who's third? Ricky, Ricky, go ahead, Ricky. My name is Ricky. My expectation. My expectation is winning. My name is Rashawn. My expectation is coming. My name is Trey John Pickett. My expectation is the best running back in the world. My name is Charles Ward. My expectation is to make it to the NFL. My name is Devontae McCoy. My expectation is Disney World. My name is Omar Bell, my ex is the national championship. Got my back. I got your back. Who got my back? I got your back. Y'all sound like y'all do. Who got my back? I got your back. Who got my back? I got your back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If it ain't no city,